Hey guys, so today I'm making a little um, card. So this is what I've made already. So I'm going to be focusing on the background and the, what I use for the background. Yeah, these are some of the ones that are done. So yeah, okay. So, I am going to show you what to do, but I'm going to fast forward through it. I'll put some music and yeah, I'll see you at the end.
So this is the final card and I will stamp happy birthday or something inside. I'll figure out when I'm gonna give it to whoever I'm gonna give it to. <laughs> um, so I don't want to stamp anything inside until I'm sure of it, but it's so pretty. I love all the colors. I love the watercolor look. Um, the enamels, dots, those were the ones I... I mean, I didn't have much. I mean, I had much, but not, I don't know. I didn't have very colorful ones like that glitter one. So I think the white one stands out a little bit more. Maybe a black one. If the if the back, if this was, the car was black, maybe. I don't know. So what do you guys think? Um, I did use the Tim Holtz Distress Inks for the background. Um, I did put gesso and the stencil to give it a, like the texture effect. Um, I am going to try to recreate this. What do you call it? Um, watercolor look with different mediums. Well, markers. So I'm going to try and recreate this with the clean, the sick clean color wheel brush markers, and see how that works out. I'm also going to try to do it with um, what is it like the like with Crayola regular Crayola markers. Possibly with oh I had them they were here I don't know where they went um, but yeah so I'm gonna try to recreate the background with different things that way in case you don't have the distress ink because I know distress ink could be very pricey um, we could we could try and use like Creolans other other brands and they should kind of work because they're all like inky and watery and <laughs> whatever but yeah so yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.